Meanwhile, MSNBC's Rachel Maddow is holding a live town hall in Flint tonight about that crisis. And 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker is live ahead of that event tonight. Heather. At home, STEM Academy in Flynn on the north side of town, where people are already gathering inside. Just a few minutes ago, we saw Senator Debbie Stabenow arrive. Uh, Flint Mayor Karen Weaver arrived, spoke to both of them briefly. They say they're excited that residents will have a chance to get answers about their future. You can see some of those people with their concerns standing out here with signs waiting on lead levels, expected uh, pay for toxic water. And tonight, Maddow says that she will be talking about the future steps for residents dealing with the toxic water. Guests will include Dr. Mona Hanna Tees, Professor Mark Edwards, and Flint with the Flint Water Study Group, along with Flint Mayor Karen Weaver, who I spoke about. Governor Snyder, however, will not be in attendance. Now, I've been talking to residents out here, and they're telling me that they are very happy that Rachel Maddow decided to come here to Flint and hold this town hall. They actually, many of them, them crediting her for giving the Flint water crisis national attention. I think this is this is a great, great, great idea to get the whole city aware, the whole nation aware. And I and I can't say enough about Rachel Maddow. You know, she's uh, one one wonderful person. Now, the town hall will begin at 7 o'clock tonight here. It's going to be taped and then we'll air at the regular scheduled time for the Maddow program at 9 o'clock on MSNBC. We, of course, are going to have a full recap of what was discussed inside along with reaction. That's coming up tonight at 10 on WXSP and 11 tonight on Wood. Reporting live in Flint, Heather Walker, 24-hour News 8. Okay. Heather, thank you for the live report from Flint tonight. We'll certainly be watching. Yep. Well, new polls just out late this afternoon show the Flint water crisis is having a negative impact on Governor Snyder's favorability rating. The percentage of those who have a negative view of Snyder's job performance went up. Those negative numbers spike even more when those polled were asked specifically about Snyder's handling of the Flint water crisis. However, the public is still far from demanding Snyder's resignation. Roughly the same percentage of people who have a negative image of the governor think he should keep his job.